What's up guys? This is Andrzej Schreiter from Petamental Project, the filament making machine from Pet Bottles. Today I want to tell you something about the settings of your thermocontroller W3220 and the reason why I choose it for this project. First of all, let me tell you why I choose this type of controller for this project. That's because the W3220 is pretty simple non-PID solution for removing the temperature up to 500 degrees Celsius, which is amazing. And non-PID means pretty cheap. So let's begin with the settings. Press and hold the set button. On a P0 position, you can choose between a heating and cooling, so choose edge. Press the set button once again to edit P1 position which is a speed of updating the temperature and set it to a 0.1. Press the set button to edit P2 which is temperature correction setting. My personal value for this is 10 for unknown reason but it's working. Next position P3 is for a maximum temperature alarm value and you don't need to change it but I set it up to 230 degrees Celsius. When a temperature will rise above the set value, your display will start blinking. I don't think that this is too much useful feature for us, but it's there. P4 position has the same function as a previous P3, and this time it's about a minimum temperature alarm value. You can set it to minus 5.0, whatever. This is the same case as the previous one. Nothing too much useful for us. Okay, and the last one, P5, is the setting for the data log. And honestly, I don't know what is it, but don't change it. And now that's it. You are completely set at your thermal controller. And the last thing you need to do is to set your actual working temperature for making filament. And you can easily make it with these two arrows for uh, small steps and a set button for skipping the temperature in uh, 50 degrees Celsius steps. And that's it for today. Thank you for your attention and I hope that you will find this video helpful. If yes, please give me a like. If you need more information or help with something, you can join us in our Petamenta Facebook group. Thank you guys for helping the others. I appreciate it.